Have you ever looked up at the stars in the night sky and wondered what they were like? Let me introduce you to the Andromeda Galaxy if you're interested in learning more about the wonders of the cosmos. The gorgeous spiral galaxy known as the Andromeda Galaxy, often referred to as Messier 31 or M31, is situated roughly 2.5 million light years away from our own Milky Way. It's difficult to even begin to comprehend how far away it is, but consider that the light from Andromeda that we see now left the galaxy more than 2 million years ago. But what draws people to the Andromeda Galaxy? First of all, it's enormous. Secondly, the Andromeda Galaxy and our home galaxy are going to engage in a titanic conflict. Even while everything may appear peaceful when we look up at the night sky, looks can be deceiving. This is what will happen to Earth. Even though we may not see it, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is traveling at an incredible 1.3 million miles per hour and is directly headed for its neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. The 2.5 million light years separation between these spiral galaxies won't always remain constant. The Milky Way's central black hole will be torn open by the cosmic collision, which will occur sooner than expected. Why is this occurring now? What will happen to Earth when this inevitable collision occurs? You will get to know this and plenty more as we dive into the details of today's show. However, before getting started with the video officially, Here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. Getting to know all. The two biggest galaxies, a so-called local group which consists of several dozen enormous and tiny galaxies connected by gravity, are the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies. Because Andromeda and the Milky Way are the largest, they are in charge of the group's future and gravitational pull. The Andromeda galaxy which is hurtling towards us at 68 miles per hour is far smaller than the Milky Way. After around 6 billion years, they will finally combine to form a single huge spherical galaxy. This new galaxy, also known as the Milky Way or Milk Andromeda, will be formed when the supermassive black holes situated at the centers of the Milky Way and Andromeda merge. The Andromeda-Milky Way collision is strange because we have known about it for hundreds of years. In the early 1900s, astronomer Vesto Silver predicted that the Andromeda galaxy would collide with the Milky Way. Since then, Many scientists have created simulations to determine whether these galaxies will collide or simply avoid one another. Then, in 2012, researchers made a startling discovery. Using Hubble to watch the Andromeda galaxy's pace very precisely, they found that it appeared to be moving at 100 kilometers per second, pretty much straight towards the Milky Way. In about 4 billion years, they predicted that the two galaxies would collide, wreaking havoc. In 2019, it was discovered that Andromeda was deviating somewhat further to the side than originally thought delaying the final collision by almost 600 million years. But recent research suggests that Andromeda's sideways migration is still accelerating. If this is the case, Andromeda may totally miss the Milky Way, according to the fresh results based on more recent data. The peculiar thing about this strategy is that although appearing to be in opposition, all of these measures actually concur with it to some extent. An uncertainty. Is a collision imminent or not given the statistical uncertainty in the measurements at play here? The two components of an object's velocity are its radial velocity, or how quickly it moves towards or away from you, and its transverse velocity or side velocity. If something is approaching you with some speed but no transverse velocity, brace yourself for contact. Nevertheless, if it has some positive transverse velocity, it will be going not only toward you but also sideways. If the transverse velocity is sufficiently great, it will miss since nature has a mechanism for achieving this. The light of an object traveling towards you is Doppler altered and its wavelength shortens, making it easy to calculate the radial velocity of Andromeda. Blue shifting taking is the term for it. Galaxy spectrum makes it possible to quantify this in a pretty straightforward and accurate manner, and it has been calculated to be around 100 kilometers an hour or 360 000 kilometers an hour. That was quick, right? How fast is it moving in one direction? But a crucial question that is hard to quantify is how quickly it is veering to the side. To go to Andromeda, which is approximately 2.5 million light years distance, requires a lengthy trek. Think of it this way. The Cassini spacecraft took seven years to go from Earth to Saturn, which is situated at a huge distance of almost 1 billion kilometers. Consider returning to Earth after spending another seven years visiting Saturn. Then consider doing that a billion times. Congratulations. You've only traveled a tenth of the distance needed to get to Andromeda. Because Andromeda is so far away, any transverse motion seems to be very slight, making it challenging to measure. Most telescopes can't even measure the minute shift in their star's locations over time. In order to ascertain how swiftly Andromeda was moving to the side, as was previously noted, 
Scientists utilized Hubble to take highly precise measurements over a period of 5 to 7 years. Since that is far slower than the radial velocity of 100 km per second, they calculated that it was moving at a speed of 17 km per second. The most recent data from the Gaia spacecraft, which examines the brightness, location, speeds, and colors of well over a billion stars with incredible accuracy, was used by astronomers in their most recent work. It appears to be moving directly in our direction. The process is difficult, but they eventually learned that Andromeda's transverse velocity is about 82 km a second, which seems to indicate that Andromeda will miss us. If the transverse and radial velocities are almost similar, this results in Andromeda heading at a 40 degree angle to the side, which is enough to completely miss the Milky Way. As we've already mentioned, these measurements contain a lot of uncertainty. Using a variety of statistical methodologies, astronomers can assign a statistical level of uncertainty to their findings. This is unpleasant because if the lower figure is right, a collision is guaranteed. If the higher one is, a miss is guaranteed and we are unable to tell the difference between the two. The longer the distance between observations, the more the star appears to move over time and the more certain the measurements are, according to experts who are trying to follow it. Since the original Hubble article was published more than 10 years ago, the findings would be far more trustworthy if they were conducted again today. Gaia is still observing, so it's revised data, which will be released once it has processed data from all five years of its planned mission, should be far more accurate than the earlier data. Astronomers should be able to make more accurate calculations within a few more years, at which point we might know for sure whether we should brace ourselves for a cosmic collision in the abyss or simply watch as Andromeda safely passes by at a distance of a million or two light years. A what if? What if it decides to hit us anyway? Andromeda is now about 2.5 million light years distant, but when it collides with our galaxy in less than 4 billion years, it will start a cataclysmic dance that will last billions of years and create a new galaxy. Nevertheless, a breathtaking scene will be seen by Earthlings just before Andromeda collides. 250 million years after the collision, the two galaxies will win comfortably over one another. The only thing that will be left will be the skeletal remains of two distinct galaxies. The struggle will continue for billions of years though until the supermassive black holes at the center of each galaxy come close enough to combine. In the night sky, the elliptical galaxy's bright light center will be visible if Earth survives 6 billion years of cosmic destruction. You might even want to change your end-of-the-world clocks to reflect this. Around 10 billion years ago, the Milky Way was involved in a significant collision, and smaller galaxies are routinely swallowed up by larger galaxies as they move through their orbits. The Milky Way may end in its current form a few billion years sooner than expected. Another collision on its course. A similar spiral of stars known as the Large Magellanic Cloud LMC, one of our parent galaxy's nearest satellites, appears to be on a collision course with it about 2 to 3 billion years before the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies collide, which has long been anticipated. According to a group of astrophysicists at Durham University in the UK, this cosmic catastrophe might begin as soon as 2 billion years from now. The collision would irreversibly affect both galaxies even though the LMC has only around 1 in 20th the solar mass of the Milky Way. It would awaken previously sleeping black holes, throw stars billions of kilometers off an orbit, and scatter cosmic radiation across the sky. The destruction of the large Magellanic Cloud as it is dragged up by the Milky Way would have severe consequences for our galaxy. Galactic collisions occur frequently in the shockingly dense vast space and scientists are becoming extremely adept at modeling how recent merchants might go. The Durham team used the supercomputer to simulate a variety of possible consequences for the forthcoming Milky Way LMC merger. What aspects of our galaxy will change is predicted by the collision simulator. The merging LMC would probably cause the Milky Way's central black hole to experience a large influx of fresh gas and stars, reviving the once dormant behemoth. When a supermassive black hole swallows and spews out burning celestial matter at speeds close to the speed of light, an object known as a quasar is generated. Such a collision may swell the black hole to about eight times its current size. The stars currently residing in the Milky Way's galactic center would sadly have to make way for a new population of cosmic immigrants from the LMC if this were to happen. In reaction to all the extra material coming into the vicinity, the researchers predicted that many stars will be sucked into the galactic center expanding black hole and that other stars may be thrown headfirst into interstellar space quadrillions of miles distant. Fortunately, after 2 billion years, the union will only have a minimal effect on a few stars that are close to the sun. The researchers came to the conclusion that there is not much danger to life on Earth and that the Milky Way's newest quasar might even give future inhabitants of Earth a spectacular display of cosmic fireworks. Because of the power of the James Webb Space Telescope, also known as the Just Fantastic Space Telescope, 
we'll be able to see collisions in exquisite detail, even if we won't be here to witness them. However, even before that, the sun can be truly problematic for us. By the time we merge with Andromeda, our sun will be a red giant that will first swallow up Mercury and Venus before expanding to a diameter equal to that of Earth's orbit. You may be familiar with the Carrington Incident, an extreme geomagnetic storm that occurred in 1859 and wrecked telegraph cables. At the time, this event and a related solar explosion that occurred in 1921 were generally regarded as curiosities. Today, however, scientists see them as warning signs that a solar storm might cause catastrophic burns and meltdowns in our satellite networks and electrical infrastructure. Although it may be worse, astronomers found a solar flare from the year 775 that was 10 or 100 times more powerful in 2012. Now researchers scouring ice cores for strange isotopes have found evidence of two further mega flares that took place 5259 and 7176 years ago, respectively. That will eventually happen again and we are not prepared for what is about to hit us. With that, we have reached the end of today's show. Do you think that earthly beings would devise a plan to stay safe if both these come straight head on? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.